raise the Social Security retirement age to 68 years old in the United States by the year 2050 and to 69 by 2075. That's the recommendation of the co-chairs of President Obama's Deficit Reduction Commission. A draft put out ahead of the total panel's proposal also includes tweaking the popular mortgage tax deduction and cutting defense spending. Co-chair Erskine Bowl says tough decisions have to be made now. We face the most predictable economic crisis in history. Every single member of Congress knows that the path we are currently on is not sustainable. Nobody debates that. The debate is how do we address it. We put out a plan to do that, and we expect that plan will be modified as we go forward. The deficit reduction outline arrived on the same day the Treasury announced the federal deficit is now the longest on record. In the United Kingdom, a violent backlash against the tough budget decisions being made there. Tens of thousands of protesters, mostly students, fill the streets in front of the headquarters of the ruling Conservative Party, mad over plans to allow universities to triple tuition rates. On the corporate front, caution at Cisco. The tech giant beat profit forecast, but says it is starting to see sales moderate in some areas of its business. And Google employees are getting a 10% pay hike, according to several media reports. A Google spokesperson in an email to Reuters would only say competitive compensation is, quote, important to the future of the company. Wall Street was focused mostly on tech, which helped the market break two days of losses. Oil closed at a more than two-year peak above $87 a barrel on a big drawdown in U.S. crude supplies. And in Europe, worries about Eurozone debt caused stocks to fall from a two-year high. Conway Gittins, Reuters.